Okay, this is a women's size large skirt made in Indonesia, 100% rayon. Um, the brand is Faith and there's a name with it and I can't think of it for the life of me. I looked up the comps and um, it's Faith by, you know, this uh, woman's name and forgive me, I can't think of it now. I will insert it here in the video or put it down below, but really pretty. Um, dress it almost has like a linen feel to it kind of a patchwork dress um and then it has let's see where are these yeah buttons buttons on the front with like a little satin southwestern detail there and a little slit at the bottom i thought it was super cute it has kind of a vintage vibe to it. it. It's not vintage as far as I know. I mean, it might be, but it does not feel vintage to me. It feels really new, very barely worn. Um, and I think that'll do really well. Probably around $25 for that. This is a Pilcro and the Letterpress by Anthropology. I was super excited to see this um, in the bins. When I was grabbing this, I was, I had just, um, lined up at one of the bins before they, you know, call it out and say shop or go or whatever. And so I was just in this particular situation, grabbing kind of whatever I could see that I thought was good. And then I would take it over and sort through and put stuff back and, this is one of those things I frantically grabbed and turned out to be great. I've um, definitely heard of this one before, Anthropology, you know, line. This is kind of a corduroy material, paisley print, button up, basic kind of flannel shirt. And um, I definitely grabbed it. Great brand, probably get around $20 for that. And I was excited to pick that one up because I've never seen Pilcro in the letterpress before. So I love it. I love finding the anthropology and urban outfitters uh, brands there, as well as many others. This is a pair of women's size 14 cut from the cloth jeans, crop jeans, cuffed on the bottom, raw hem um embroidered back pockets pretty basic crop jeans cut from the cloth is um you know pretty pretty okay brand of jeans that i've been picking up a lot lately um it has a button pocket there which is kind of cute i'm guessing around 15 dollars for that Again, sorry if you can hear my dogs barking upstairs. They're, I think the mailman is here picking up my packages. And I have two little dogs that bark like crazy whenever anybody passes by. Okay, this is a Simply Vera Wayne kind of tie-dye, um, acid wash, oversized tunic top, women's size medium. Um, three-quarter length sleeves. It has pockets here, <clears throat> which is cute. You know, this might even be a dress, to be honest. I was thinking it was a, a shirt, but you could definitely wear this as like a very short dress um, or just throw on a pair of leggings. Or, and it has this chiffon, um, hem coming out peeking out there which i see a lot with vera wayne i've sold vera wayne several times it does not sell for a lot but um it sells pretty quickly for me and i'm very picky with it i won't pick up any vera wayne because it, there's a lot of it out there um but if i see one that i think will sell i grab it Okay, this was a cool find for me. This is a crochet lined um, 
short dress. It zips, it's a full zip in the back. See through crochet sleeves. Super cute. I love this. Um, this is something I would like to, you know, keep myself. I'm not going to, but, and it's a women's size, um, eight. Juicy Couture. I have picked up Juicy Couture several times. I've sold a couple pieces, I believe, but I've noticed it has sat for a long time in my store. So I'm pretty picky when I pick it up. Again, I won't just pick up anything. Um, I It's kind of surprising how slow it sells to me personally. Um, but there you go. You just, you never really know. Maybe it used to sell like hotcakes, I don't know. Okay, this is a pair of um, women's M and G collection, size two <clears throat> crop distress jeans. And it has this um, belts on it. It's just like a, like a fabric belt floral, really pretty accent there um and then you can see in the distressed part i don't know if that will show up but they're in on the inner part there there's the same fabric material showing through the the holes so i thought that was really cute um, I looked up comps and, and this is not an amazing brand by any means, but I could probably get around $15 for it. So I picked it up and I thought they were really unique and cute. Okay. <clears throat> Next item, this is a Lost, Riv Lost River Clothing Company. Um, button up men's polo shirt and I will button it up again here um please forgive the condition of the shirt at the moment it is it needs it needs to be washed it's super wrinkled um you can see just how kind of wadded up it was in the bins and wrinkled it's still in great condition I didn't find any flaws on it um but I'm definitely going to need to wash it and iron it out maybe even just because it's one of those materials kind of cotton materials it gets wrinkled very easily anyway it's like a hawaiian you know islandy print um and comps are pretty good so i like to pick that up i i really i've sold several tommy bahama men's polo shirts and i thought this would do pretty well and it's a okay brand so <clears throat> Next up, this is a cloth by RD, women's size medium sweater, kind of a waffle knit sweater. Um, it's lawn, tunic, is it a high-low? It's, it's almost a high-low there. Lawn sleeve, kind of basic, dark burgundy sweater. And it has a turtle, pretty much a turtleneck there. Um, the brand is nothing I'd ever heard of before, but comps were pretty good. So maybe about $14 for that. Okay. <clears throat> this is an Urban Outfitters um, out from under. It's women's size medium. It's made in India. Oversized. Uh, three quarters length top. You can see just how wide <laughs> this shirt is. It's kind of one of those super slouchy tops. Again, this needs a wash. Um, so don't mind all the wrinkles there. But yeah, it was pretty basic, very oversized, you know, kind of boho-y Urban Outfitters top, I'm guessing around um, maybe $16, $14 for that. I have actually not sold Urban Outfitters before. Um, I find a ton of anthropology out there and not a lot of Urban Outfitters. Maybe that's just the area I live in. 
um, but I'm excited to see how that does. Uh, Judith March, oversized high-low tunic sweater. This kind of has like an, a waffle knit to it. Has the seam down the middle. And let's see if I can find <clears throat> the size for you guys. Oh yes, okay, so women's size large. And it's a large, but it's definitely an oversized sweater top. It's not a thick sweater, it's kind of a thinner sweater material. Basic. Judith March, um, I'm not familiar with the brand, but I did look up comps and i um, guessing around $15 for that sweater. This is a cool one. This is J&J Fashion Hawaii. It says handmade in, in, in Indonesia on the tag, which people, I feel like, will pay a little extra for a handmade item from Indonesia or from anywhere really. So it's a kind of your Hawaiian dress, button in the front, half button in the front, ties in the back. It's in great condition, floral print. It is like a fuchsia, dark fuchsia color. Did I say women's size small? I think I did. And it, this is rayon. This is a good example of something that you would need to hand wash. Um, I'm guessing I could get around $20 for that. Maybe $25. <clears throat> okay, guys, we have a few items left. Almost there. Thank you so much for sticking around with these, you know, through these long videos. I love making them, and I, I hope you are enjoying all of my items I found. It's a lot of work finding these items and being bent over the bins for a couple hours. I always leave and my back hurts and my neck, um, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Um, okay, so this is an American rag pair of overalls. I'm just gonna stand up to show these. Um, this is a larger size and American Rag is a you know good brand and that is why I picked them up. Also you don't find a lot of overalls out there and I feel like I've heard that they do pretty good reselling so I'm excited to see how they do. They are cropped, they're you know short overalls, raw hem on the bottom. I've never sold, sold overalls before, I've never sold American Rag before but I know it to be a fairly popular brand. This is a women's size large. And yeah, super cute. I'm sure someone will love these. They have the buttons on the side. Okay. Probably about $25 for those. Okay, um, again, these need to be washed. I'm sorry if you can see any little spots on them. I, I did notice that they need a wash, but it doesn't look like they're stained. So, and this is a pair of women's size 12, long length Stetson brand jeans. Um, Stetson is a brand that I have <clears throat> sold once before. And it was a pair of black suede leather boots that I sold sat forever, sat for like a year in my store. And the boots, I believe they retailed around $300 or something crazy. And I ended up selling them for 45, which is not bad. And I was glad I let them sit for so long. It's $45, it's a great return. I think I paid $7. Anyway, that's the only other time I've sold, sold anything Stetson, but I've heard that it's, you know, a pretty um, well-known Western wear item. And comps were good for jeans. I'm guessing around $20 for that pair of jeans. Kind of a staple brand, I, I guess Stetson is, in Western wear. Moving along. <clears throat> this is a Silence and Noise 
Silence and Noise. This is a, it's a sub brand. I believe, I believe it might be Urban Outfitters. Um, I'm trying to hold the tag down here. Women's size small. And this is a romper. This needs a bath. I need to wash this again. Um, kind of a basic strappy, strap feedback, adjustable straps, romper. Great for spring and summer. It is not a dress, it's a romper. Um, and for this, I am hoping to get around $16, $18. It is in good condition. It does have a little wear on the straps, um, which brings the value down, of course, but we will see how that does. Comps are pretty decent. Okay. Um, this was kind of a cool find, another Western wear, New Frontier um, women's skirt. This is acetate and rayon. It says dry clean only. It's a women's size medium. And it does need to be cleaned. Um, it has pockets. Um, I will not dry clean this. I've never taken anything to the dry cleaners. Um, I will, I would for certain items if it's like, say a vintage, like wool fur coat, something like that, or like something that's 100% leather, like piece of clothing. You know, I wouldn't attempt to clean that myself. I mean, I might spot clean it, spot clean it with like a leather cleaner. Anyway, something like this, um, I believe, from experience and from research is perfectly acceptable to hand wash an item like this um, instead of taking it to the dry cleaners and spending money on that. So that's what I will do with this. It does not, dam you know, it doesn't damage most of these pieces of clothing just to hand wash them and be really careful. Use, you know, mild detergent and, you know, cool water, that sort of thing. So I'm not afraid to hand wash. Um, so this has cute little accent buttons. I'm not sure what these little diamond shaped things are called, but you see that on Western wear. Zip back has an only has a partially elastic waist, lawn length, full blue skirt. Cute um, Western wear piece. And um, I'm hoping to get around $25, uh, $25, $30 for that skirt. Okay. <clears throat> this is a pair of Prana women's size six pants. These definitely need to be washed as well. Pretty basic pants. These, um, they have this, I, I honestly don't know what this is called here, this kind of um, accent um, pleated part of the fabric. Looks pretty cool, outdoorsy, that's also on the back pocket there. And these have a ton of pilling on them and I almost didn't pick them up. I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to wash them and I'm gonna have to shave them. But I love picking up Prana and I figured even if I don't end up selling them, I might try them out for myself. Try to kind of do a close up there. It's a lot of pilling, but I think it should come off and they will be refreshed. And um, if I sold these, I could probably get around $18, $20 for them. Okay. Um, and then the last piece of clothing that I have. Thank you guys so much for sticking through to the end with me. Um, is what I'm wearing. This top is a cloth and stone. Um, button front, high-low shirt. Um, pretty basic and I was super excited to find another cloth and stone piece in the bins. Um, every time I see it I get super excited. I think because it was so built up for me, you know, from watching other resellers, YouTube videos. Um, I, you know, it's an, another anthropology brand and this was in excellent condition. I will sell this. Um, I just kind of decided it would be fun to showcase one piece 
um, from each haul that I found by modeling it. Um, and I forget what size this is, forgive me. I think it's a women's size uh, medium by Cloth and Stone. Uh, denim, chambray, chambray, um, three quarter sleeve button up shirt. Anyway, you guys, thanks for sticking around through all of that with me. Um, and thank you so much for watching again. I, I really hope these videos will turn out to be useful um, for you guys to just kind of see what other resellers are out there finding um, and selling. Again, a lot of the stuff I find is not amazing, clearly. Um, uh, but that's okay. You know, as long as I can make like about a $10 profit on each item I find, I'm okay with that. I definitely like to have more of about, you know, $15, $20 profit. Um, but I, in general, I'd say I profit about $13 to $14 off of the items I make. Um, and that is just kind of where I'm at right now. And I'm sure a lot of us are in the same boat. Um, so again, in the future, I hope to make more helpful videos. Um, I know a lot of people love watching these haul videos. They're fun to make for me and fun to watch. I love watching them um, myself. There's several channels that I just love. Um, anyway, you guys, thank you, please. Um, it would help me out so much if you liked and commented. Um, share your, you know, finds with me. Comment down below. Give me some advice. Give me some feedback. And, um... I will catch you guys next time. Bye.